Hello friends. Welcome to the Tech Talks Engineered channel. Today we will see LALCM. That is the leakage current measurement of a lightning arrestor also called as surge arrestor. We will see why do we need to measure the LA leakage current and how do we measure the leakage current with example. First, let's see why do we need to measure LA leakage current. We know that there is a leakage current meter installed on the support structure of LA. This meter continuously measures and displays leakage current flowing through LA and counts the number of surges experienced by LA. Then why do we need to measure leakage current separately? The meter installed measures total leakage current through LA. But this total leakage current is a vector sum of the capacitive and the resistive current through LA. And to know the healthiness of LA accurately, we need to check resistive component IR of the total leakage current IT. Because we know the main component of LA is zinc oxide element also called ZNO blocks. LA is nothing but a stack of ZNO elements. The size and number of ZNO elements for a particular LA are decided based on the rating and design of that LA. The healthiness of LA is nothing but the intactness of the insulation property of these ZNO blocks. Hence, to measure the insulation level of these ZNO blocks accurately, we need to measure resistive leakage current IR through these blocks and not the total leakage current IT. Now to understand this further, we represent LA with a circuit diagram also called an equivalent circuit diagram. The top end line terminal of the LA is connected to a high voltage line. And LA ground terminal is connected to the earth. We can see both capacitive current IC and resistive current IR adding to total leakage current IT. As in the phaser diagram, resistive leakage current IR is in phase with applied LA terminal voltage. Capacitive current IC leads IR by 90 degrees. Capacitive current IC is large as compared to IRN, practically IC remains constant. Whereas, resistive leakage current IR increases over time due to lightning impulse, fault, aging, moisture ingress, or insulation failure of surge arrestor. Resultant leakage current IT is the vector sum of IR and IC. The magnitude of total leakage current IT is equal to the square root of the addition of squares of IR and IC. Now, let's say, resistive leakage current IR of LA increases over time to a new value IR1. Hence, new resultant leakage current IT also increases and becomes IT1. Similarly, if resistive leakage current IR1 again increases to new value IR2, due to some reasons mentioned earlier, new, increased, total leakage current will be IT2. If we plot these different values of IR and IT separately, we notice a very important point here. We can see, even if there is a significant increase in resistive leakage current IR, the respective increase in the resultant leakage current IT is very small. This happens because the value of IC is very large as compared to the value of IR. Also, practically IC remains constant. Hence, even large changes in IR do not affect much the value of IT. And this is the reason we need to check resistive leakage current value IR separately to know LA's condition. Total leakage current IT alone does not show the exact condition of LA. This installed leakage current meter shows only total leakage current IT and does not show resistive leakage current IR separately. Even though resistive leakage current in LA increases significantly, the meter will show a very small increase in total leakage current. This may mislead the assessment of LA healthiness. Now, friends, let's see how do we measure resistive leakage current IR and total leakage current IT with an example. Here we can see a surge arrestor with a counter mounted on it. This is the LCM kit that is a leakage current measurement kit. This is a CT unit. And this is a field probe unit along with an FRP rod that is a fiber reinforced plastic rod. The kit, CT unit and probe unit are charged fully before use. Moving on to the connection and function part. This is how it looks at a glance. All the necessary connections of the LCM kit, CT unit and field probe unit are done. Kit arthing is done through this master arthing point. Safety and measurement point of view, kit arthing is the most important point. Hence proper arthing is very essential. We can see the RF antenna that is a radio frequency antenna installed at this point. 
we can see both CT and field probe units also have a similar antenna attached. These three antennas communicate with each other wirelessly. The CT unit is clamped around the cable or the conductor, connected between the counter and LA bottom, just before the counter. The CT unit measures total leakage current along with total harmonics, that is system-generated harmonics and harmonics due to ZNO blocks. Now, the field probe unit is firstly fitted on the FRP rod, with these two discs installed, as in the picture. Then the field probe unit is held at the level of the LA base. Please do not touch this field probe unit to the base of LA or any live part under any circumstances. This will damage the unit. This field probe unit measures system harmonics. Since it is not connected to the LA circuit at all, it only deals with system voltage and measures system harmonics. And these system harmonics are used as a reference and are deducted from the total harmonics measured by the CT unit leaving behind only those harmonics which are generated by ZNO blocks that is LA. In some measurement kits, system harmonics compensation is not done using the field probe unit. And third harmonic resistive leakage current is measured without system harmonic compensation. But for more accuracy, it is better to use system harmonic compensation. The next obvious question is, why do we need to do system harmonic compensation for better accuracy? We know that non-linear loads and equipment, such as transformers, motors, wave traps, etc. are connected in electrical substations. Harmonics are generated due to these non-linear loads, which includes the third harmonic also. On the other hand, harmonics are also generated in the LAZNO block due to the non-linear resistive properties of ZNO elements, which are mostly comprised of third harmonics. Since third harmonic component is predominant in the resistive leakage current of ZNO blocks, which is roughly around 10% to 40% of resistive leakage current. Hence, we focus mainly on calculating the third harmonics due to ZNO blocks only, and not the system harmonics, for the exact health assessment of LA. Because this third harmonic resistive leakage current is the main cause of deterioration of ZNO blocks, and subsequently LA failure. That's why we do system harmonic compensation for better accuracy. To brief it, simply. We can say, the CT unit measures total leakage current along with system-generated harmonics and harmonics generated due to ZNO blocks, since it is clamped directly to the LA counter cable. Whereas the field probe unit measures only system harmonics since it is not connected to the LA circuit. Hence CT unit measured values minus field probe unit measured values gives ZNO generated harmonics values. Now, once the connections and measurement setup are ready and we press the test button on the kit, we get this reading. Total leakage current and resistive leakage current. Now, to decide whether LA is healthy or not, we need to see resistive leakage current value IR. This IR value ranges from 10 microamperes to 600 microamperes, depending upon the rating, design, and age of LA. In this example, the total leakage current IT is 755 microamperes. And resistive leakage current IR is 31 microamperes. We can say, the condition of this LA is okay, based on the IR value. Now, let's look at another example. Here. The total leakage current IT is 715 microamperes, and resistive leakage current IR is 306 microamperes. Now, this IR value looks doubtful. In this case, we should check previously measured IR values of this LA and compare it with this IR value. If there is an increase in the resistive leakage current of the LA, then LA must be taken out of the service immediately after consulting with the LA manufacturer it is important to keep a track of the IR values of the LA and observe the trend. If the IR value is increasing over time, that means LA is losing its insulation property and it may fail anytime. Also, environmental conditions affect IR value. With high ambient temperature, the IR value increases. Nowadays, modern measurement kits have the inbuilt ability to calculate and correct the IR value to standard temperature which is 20 degrees Celsius. Also, other environmental factors such as humidity, dust and rain affect the IR value.
So guys this is about LA leakage current measurement. Hope you liked the video. If yes, please hit the like button. For more videos. Please subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you.